made use of every opportunity. They were an industrious and skillful people. So we've always been an industrious and skilled people. Go ahead. Goldsmiths, leather workers, potters, armors, saddlers, blacksmiths, agriculturists, etc. See how we work? I can answer your question. My name is Aton. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. And what's your name? Say it. Foster. Fa yeah, Miss Foster? Foster? Yeah. Miss Foster's okay? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, Miss Foster. So you had asked, like, what do we do for the children? Like the little leagues and things like that, right? Oh. So now my question would be to you, uh -huh. because we've done that. I actually used to play myself. I actually taught my kids to play. Okay. And I taught a whole lot of other kids to play. Okay. So now my question to you would be, what has that done for us? Well, I tell you what it did for me. Okay. Since you're talking in past tense, let me talk in past tense. Yeah, too. I'm cool okay. with that. I played, I played, um, um, growing up, I played. Go ahead. I just okay, want to, I okay. want to growing up, I played, um, softball, basketball, growing up. Yeah. And, um, had that camaraderie, camaraderie, camaraderie with, with, yeah. yeah, with, with my, um, teammates. With my teammates, and I had, um, a father figure in my coach. Yeah. Okay, I had participation from everybody in that. Right. Okay. All growing up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then when it brought me to my adulthood, then I joined the Navy and I still participated in sports. My mind is where it needs to be. Okay. I'm not focusing on what's out here in the street. Okay. okay? But this is all starting from coming you, on up. From your youth. Right. From from coming on up. Yeah. When we're talking, when you're talking past this, what you have done, uh -huh. right, what we're doing now. All right. I, on my, on, on, okay. in my neighborhood. Find out, find out where we was, the doctors and things. In my neighborhood, you, yes. they got these little neighborhood watch things. And yes. people are online talking about they're going to shoot somebody for yes. stealing they Still in this, still whatever, in that, they're whatever, doing it all over yeah. social media okay. and everything. So that means the kids are out there yeah. doing things instead of being... Involved, involved in sports. Okay. So it, what else? Okay. Bring a break. You, you know, bring what, them into I'm just saying your question because you you're saying Bring sports. them into the library and, 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 and put, the, whatever them it is. Whatever. I don't right. care. But let's do something besides out here hollering. All right. So now, so now you have said that let's do something other than hollering, right? So now, you believe in the Bible? I do. You believe in God and I, Christ? I do. I do. So now, I'm going to read some scriptures to you, right? Okay. And and I'm gonna and they're gonna be read loud, but it's not that we're hollering at you. We're the other because it's other people over there listening to, right? Uh -huh. Because I think your question is very good. Like, what are we doing for the children? And I'm gonna show you in the Bible what I should have been doing a long time ago that I didn't do because I followed after Greekish fashions, uh -huh. meaning we weren't the ones to create sports. I'm gonna show you. Okay. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Let's get that in Proverbs. 622 real quick first we're gonna do that first because i think you i think what you said about our kids and stuff with the threats and online back and forth promoting killing and murder all in our neighborhoods we see it everywhere some of us used to do it but we ain't there no more watch this proverbs chapter 22 verse 6 train up a child in the way he should go in the way what he should go the bible says train them up in the way he should go now should our sons want to play sports to beat themselves up because most football players by the time they're 40 like me if they've been on the line or running backs they've had too many injuries to where now they want to commit suicide Wake up. so why would i push that on my child that is six my son i shouldn't do that i did though and then i had to say no no we're not gonna do that here because it's more scholarships given out to colleges for playing and learning how to play an instrument than any sport on the planet. Literally, more kids could go to school for free if they did good in academics and learn how to play an instrument they would never hurt their brain or the, the sacrifice their body for. Okay. And I'm going to show you some more things. I'm going to show you wait some minute, more wait, things. Wait, 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 wait. Let's deal with that first. Now, I did. I, now, let's, let's deal with, now, Miss Foster, now, I was let's, trying to go to some scriptures Okay, now. I got you, but let me, let me. Go ahead. I got you. Okay. So now, if I teach my kids to do sports, what am I telling them to do, Miss Foster? Here's the, here's the thing. Isn't that why, isn't that why Jesus came? Because the 
Lord, I got you. do we want I got you. to be able? Yes. I got you. I got you. To deliver on, on all the commandments. Now, so, so, the, so Jesus came to take away all of that, didn't he? Now, that is what you were taught in church. And I'm glad you asked because I'm going to read it out of the Bible and you tell me what this is Jesus the last said. Time you're school me because I got to hear it. Come on. No, and listen, you see, ain't the... and you see I'm being schooled. You no, know? no, no. But I don't I, but listen. Up to that either, no, 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 no. I'll praise it. Listen, myself. my job is to be a teacher. Come on. Now, let's get that what uh, Christ said in Matthew 5, the very last verse. And then we're going to jump back up to 17. I want the very last verse because you said that didn't Christ come to do away with that? Watch this. Matthew, jump up. Five verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your father which is in heaven is perfect. So that's written in red. Christ said that. Christ said that. Be perfect. Right. Now, of course, we know we're going to make mistakes. But to also be perfect, we have to admit them and change, not stay in them. Now let's read 17 now. Watch this. Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. In the same chapter, written in red, the whole chapter just about. Go ahead. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. Christ said, don't even put it in your mind that I came to destroy the law. <laughs> now watch, I'm going to keep reading. Watch, 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 watch. All the prophets, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. In church, they closed the Bible. Because Christ said, I didn't come to destroy the laws of God, nor what the prophets said before. Now let's read the very next verse, because he said, I came to fulfill. Pastors that say he came to fulfill all the law. It didn't say that. It did not say that, it just said fulfilling his stock. You got to read it in another place. But we're going to read, what did he continue on to say right after that? Verse 18, for verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass. Oh, we and me and you still on earth. Okay. Heaven is still there until those things are gone. One jot or one tittle. The smallest punctuation, a period of comma. Go ahead. Shall in no wise pass from the law. That means the law is still in place. Christ said that. Why don't pastors say that? You know why? It's because they're not the pastors of God. That's right. right. They are slave. They are set up to be, what is it called? What's the people that's, uh, that's over the people? Taskmasters to monitor us about what we're doing. They report that back to the same man that set them up, which is the government. And they teach what they're told to say, and they ask our people for money. We don't have a bucket up for asking you for nothing. That's why when you said, y'all want donations, I said no. All I want is our people to repent and do what God said, because that's how we get out of captivity. We are slaves right now. That's right. Our children are slaves. When I look across in my house and I'm talking to my wife, she's a slave. And I want her free. I want my sons free. That's what Denmark Bessie was trying to do. That's what happened. They took his daughter, he got his freedom, and they took his wife and kid, and he couldn't get their freedom. So then he rose up. Then he started raising up thousands of other people, and then they hung him. But we don't have that spirit in us today. Now we just accept whatever people tell us, and we go about our business instead of trying to find out what our God said. So now you know that God did, Christ did not say, don't keep the commandments. He said, I did not come to do that. I came to, to fulfill. He fulfilled the law of sacrifice. When you read Hebrews chapter 10, he said, don't do the law of sacrifice no more. Because if we'd have broke the Sabbath back then, we were stoned to death. Christ died to where now when we hear it in our lifetime, we get a chance to fix it. That's grace. Grace is not that you keep sinning. Grace is that you learn to get it right. So if we never learn to get it right, did we take advantage of the grace we were given? No. That means we took advantage and took someone else's word for it instead of doing what the Bible said. That's what we out here to do. That's what we teach our children. Because our children have to know this. Because if they know anything else, because me and you learn two different ways of growing up. Because we was using sports. I grew up in sports. We learn two different ways of growing up. And then when we get older, we're still stuck in that mindset. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. That didn't help me. My sports, it was cool until I was done. Because... Well, I mean, it helped you talk to people. You're socializing. Maybe that. No, it helped me in, in other ways, too. How? And I ain't saying that it didn't. I just want to know what you said. Commitment. Okay. Uh, determination. Okay. Um, um, challenging. Challenging you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know. Um, so watch this. I'm not, I'm how, do you take, how do you take those skills that you've learned, mesh and 
filter them through the Bible, and then teach it to other kids now. I do you. Hmm? How do you? How do you do it? All praise. Remember, we were told to learn the commandments and then teach them, right? Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Let me show you. Let me show you. Because we have to read this law. Here we go. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. This is to help our people. Watch this. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Now, when I learned that, the same discipline that I took to practice every day to throw a baseball, that same discipline, I had to say, take that same discipline and apply it in the Bible to do what God said now that I know better. So then, when I heard, I can't dress like a woman, I can't wear anything like a woman, and nor can I act like a woman. I can't even have feminine ways. I had to be, you know, I can't do that. I can't break the Sabbath. If I find out about the Sabbath, I'm not going to break it no more. So that same discipline I learned in the world, God is requiring me to do it for him. Because that's a holy discipline. The discipline I learned in the world was just teaching me just to go and do what society would call me a good citizen. God want me to be a good servant to him. So now we just read that women should not wear things that belong to men. No. There's no such thing in the Bible as women pants. No, no, no. I know. But before the 40s, 1940s, were women allowed to wear pants by law? Law. Yeah. Okay, so now this is the same gender. This is the same uh, Gentile law that we're talking about. Mm -mm. No, this right here is the law in the Bible. They oh. took that law out of the Bible. We just read it. That's not a Gentile law. This is a law by God. In the same Deuteronomy where you just found out, you an Israelite. Same one. Just six chapters before that. <laughs> 1940s. 1940s. Amel look up Amelia okay, Bloomer. Wait, wait, wait. 1940s. Amelia Bloomer. Look it up. Okay, you said 1940. 1940s. So 1940s. The feminist movement with Amelia Bloom. Okay, now we're, so, now, so now we're going to make it a, a, a Gentile. That makes it Gentile. So, so our people. Okay, I got you. I think I understand what you're saying now. So yeah, so our women are following Gentile ways now. No, no what I'm saying is, if, if all this time mm -hmm. it, was, it was a Gentile law, no, it wasn't a Gentile law before the 1940s. Right. Undoubtedly, is what I'm saying. it was. Undoubtedly, it was. You said in 1940 it changed. No, in 1940s, women, period. Right. Okay. Not just but not just black women. Women, period, but, but started until, wearing pants. But until then, until, women had on dresses and skirts. Uh, until, That's it. Until then, women had dresses. There and was there was a law, and, and these Gentiles enforced no, no, no. that law. This was the law they got it from. Just like, listen, no, you have, no, watch this. You have the judicial system. Why does judicial system start with Jew? Because in those laws, thou shalt not steal or you go to jail. The Bible already told us what to do. Don't steal. They got that from the Bible. Now, do they get all their laws from the Bible? No, because homosexuality is not in the Bible to do. God said, don't do it. But then they allow it anyway. But it's not something that they force you to do. Just like they don't force our women to put on pants and shorts. They don't force them, but they give them the option to. God said our women not to. The Israelite woman, he said, because you sin, I'm going to put you into slavery. So if we want to get out of slavery, we have to stop what? Sin. Let me ask you this. Yes. Hey, you think the Lord would keep or not let me come to never do Okay. I think I heard you said you the Lord think. Do I, do I think that the Lord would not allow you into heaven because of what you're wearing? You can't get in because of your pains. Yeah. All right. So if I read it out of the Bible, do you believe in the Bible once again? I do. All right. We're going to read it out of the Bible that that's exactly what it said. Go ahead. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. And we said it shall come to pass. It ain't happened yet. It shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. Who was the sacrifice again? Jesus Christ. So when he comes back is what they're saying. When Christ comes back, because the Bible says he's coming back to do something. Go ahead. That I will punish. He will, no, he will save them. I will punish the princess and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. I didn't write that. That's in the Bible. 
that God is going to punish everyone that's dressed out of order. That's right. in strange apparel. So if I was up here in a dress, ain't no way I'm getting into the kingdom of heaven. That's what that just said. And that's discipline. The same discipline means you apply to learn those skills we did. We have to apply that same discipline to learn the skills God wants us to have. You know what? I still say I have been schooled this day. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You will. Yes, ma'am. All friends. So we'll, we'll be calling you. We're going to be calling you because yeah, we do we, we do want a spot down here because, because here. and I want you to come. And I want you doing things that, that, that you say. I want to do it here. That's what I'm saying. Uh, we do it everywhere and we're trying to do it here. That's why we come down here every week. So what's going on in Columbia? Well, shoot. Well, when we get back, you're going to see a whole lot of kids. We're going to be together. We are. We literally just, we just I guess, finished. I guess I asked that. Wrong. Yeah. No, okay. Well, in Columbia, that's just where the hub was put first. Uh -huh. That's just where it was put so up what first. what's going on in Columbia? What you mean? I uh, mean, as far as uh, kids off the street. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Our kids, all, our kids ain't on the street. Matter of fact, we don't even send our kids to the schools if we don't have to. Homeschool, and we got other teachers that will homeschool the kids because they're pushing these different things on our kids to put them in the street. That's why it's called, what is it called? The pipeline to prison? Huh? School to prison pipeline is still in place. So if I take my son out of there now, now he got teachers that care about him, that ain't trying to push him out there into the streets, that ain't telling him he's nobody. Instead, they're uplifting him and teaching him what he gotta know. And then I come in, and I come in and teach him the Bible. And now, he, now he's learning how to properly show that love to his neighbor to where when he see another kid that don't that they that don't know what he knows, he knows to go up to that child and still deal with him and bring him with him instead of pushing him away. That's what we teach you. We're teaching our people to gather because that's what the Bible says. But it don't tell us to gather and do whatever we want to do. It say gather and do what God said to do. And we haven't learned that yet. So watch, I'm gonna show you. Give me that book. I, I need you to put it up. I'm gonna show you what we teach. Where's the ba the Babylon of Timbuktu? Let's see what we were. Watch this. Go ahead. This, this is from Babylon to Timbuktu, page 90. The Jews made use of every opportunity. They were in industrious. Read this part right here. Yes, sir. The black Jews had an advantage over the African tribes. Because we'll say that everybody that's black is African. We're not the same as the Egyptians. We're not the same. Remember, the Egyptians had Israelites in slavery. They were both black people, though. So why did black people enslave black people if they was brothers? They wasn't brothers. That's why it said the Jews had every advantage over the other Africans. Because black people did sell black people to the white men. But those black people were not the same people. Just like Chinese and Japanese. They look the same. But we all know they're not the same. But then when black people, all of us are the same. Okay, well, how, do you, how do you differentiate between... Who's who? Yeah. Remember, the signs said that who were going to slavery on slave ships? That's right. The real Jews. That's right. The Africans that's still over there, they didn't come over here on slave ships. So that's not them. Go ahead. They carried their culture, history, laws, and written records with them. So we always had our culture, laws, and written records. Go ahead. This assured them a constant precedent for the development of a higher social organization. But that's what was taken from us when we came here. They took our culture from us. They took our records from us, and then they tried to reteach us lies, which is what they did. So this right here said we always kept it with us. This was before we came here. So they took this from us when we got here, so that way we would not have our own cultures. We would not have an advantage in a social environment. Now we own the bottom of society. We weren't absorbed in assimilating with everybody. We had our own and we dealt with our own. That's why the black dollar don't stay in the black community. We go spend it in white communities. Versus right here is saying, no, no, no. We only dealt with each other. The same way the Chinese man deal with them, they don't come and buy nothing from us. They buy from each other. They got that from us. Go ahead. In fact, the Jews absorbed some of the native tribes. In the Jewish Ghanaian states were found kings, princes, governors, generals, secretaries, treasures, revenue agents, judges, architects, architects engineers, 
doctors, historians, language interpreters, mathematicians, jewelers, sculptors, masons, carpenters, painters of art. Okay, so why we don't do that now? So how, how, how did it get to where it is now, dear? How do how do how do we flip it? How, yeah, how did it get how do, to where it is? Oh, how did it get? Yeah. All praises. All praises. To uh, uh uh Jeremiah 14, no 17, 4. Am I right? Yeah, watch this. I'm good with that. Y'all, you got some more? You had some more you wanted to you was looking like you wanted to bring some out? No. Okay, all right. So now you hear all those skills we had? Well, we already know that. Right, but watch this, but watch this. Whenever we learn other things outside of what the Bible said, we learn to become entertainers. Can an entertainer lead? Actually, they can. No, have they been a good leader up to this point? Has there, has there ever been a good... Think about it. Every politician, every government, every everything, no other country has entertainers as leaders except us. Now those entertainers... You know why they cannot be good leaders? It's because they make their money by entertaining people. So therefore, if they speak against the people they're entertaining, they're no longer in the position that they're in. So therefore, they cannot lead in that position. Right. So they're no longer entertainers. Until they're no longer entertainers. So, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, what if, what if you said, once they speak against... The people that they entertain. Then they are no longer in their position. They're no longer in their position. Right. So now they don't make no money. And they don't want to give that up. Now they could. They could give it up. But they don't. Absolutely. Give, give me one. Watch this. Nick, look, Nick Cannon said we was the Jews. Do you know they canceled him? What about Kanye West? Look, Kanye West did it and he was a billionaire. And overnight, he's no longer a billionaire. <laughs> and now he's starting to retract the statements he said. Because he's starting to feel that pressure of not having okay. that lifestyle he Nick used to Cannon. have. Nick Cannon? Nick Cannon? Yes, he did. He actually sat down with a Jewish man and apologized for saying that we're the real Jews when he's sitting across from a fake one. So yes. Why, why? What about Ice Cube? He did the same thing. What about uh, 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 Kyrie Irving? He did the same thing. Now he's a Muslim now, again. He was a Muslim before. Mind you, we learned Islam in the sub saharan slave trade. We learned Christianity and the transatlantic slave trade. They're yeah. both slave doctrines. And neither one of them teach us how to do what the Bible really says. Right, right. So then, he literally said, all he did was post a picture of Negroes to Hebrews, or Hebrews to Negroes. That's what it was, Hebrews to Negroes. He didn't say anything. Kyrie Irving, do you know Nike dropped him overnight? Yeah, they dropped him overnight. He's still looking for somebody to pick up. He's trying to find a company that he can then mass produce his shoes through them. And he, because Nike canceled him for just posting a photo, Hebrews to Negroes. He didn't say a single word. That is because we're really the Jews and they don't want that to be pushed by people by that, that. Huh? Is he sticking by that? No, now he's, now, think about it. If he was I, sticking by it, why would he be in Islam? When Islam okay, so made us the, the Negroes that we talking about too. Okay, that's the one that became a Muslim. Yeah, he's a Muslim now. Okay. So all of these different things happen. Now they are our brothers, they can repent. He knows a little bit, but he hasn't learned to apply it yet. And that's what he has to learn. Just like all the rest of our brothers and sisters gotta learn, just like I had to learn. He has to like me become faithful. He has to learn and then keep the faith and the commandments. Now you ask how did that happen? Watch this. Yeah, because you have to prove it, and that's the way you prove it. Watch this. Absolutely. I, you're the first person to say that, being at camp, that I've heard in a long time. Most people say it's just faith, and you don't got to do nothing to prove it. You said no to keep the commandments is you showing your faith. 100%? Right. 100%. Now watch this. This is how, it's, this is how we ended up where we at today. Go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. Remember, it said we had our culture, all our books, everything on what we was, what we did with us. Right. Said we would discontinue from our heritage. That's exactly what happened because now we're in slavery where they don't want you to learn your heritage. Because okay, your heritage, you're an Israelite. Well, you really didn't even asking, know it. <laughs> what I was really asking okay. is how did the Jewish 
Uh huh. We oh. Jews. That's what I. Oh. And, and we not. Yeah, that's what. Gotcha, I'm gotcha. Uh, what is it? The Balfour. Declaration. The Balfour Declaration. This is when the Israel state or Israeli state was established. Now, was it prophesied in the Bible that another people would then take on our land and call themselves us? Let's read it in the Bible. Let's go to Luke. Because remember, it said we would discontinue from our heritage, right? Now, let's see. Let's see. So now we know that's happened. We've seen that because that's what we've seen every day. Now, let's see if somebody else was going to move in our land. Now they claim to be Israel. Go ahead. Luke chapter 21 verse 20 This is what Christ said He prophesied about what our slavery was going to kick off And when they was going to take over Go ahead And when ye shall see Jerusalem Come past with armies Because when we were in Jerusalem Christ was there And he said but it's going to come a time When you see Jerusalem Come past with armies It's going to be surrounded And it was You ever heard of 70 AD The destruction of the Jews That's what is 70 AD was when they did this what we've been to read. And that's when we were kicked out of Jerusalem and we fled into, into Africa and then we ended up on the west coast and we come here and it's gonna tell us who's gonna take over our land. Go ahead. When you shall see Jerusalem come past with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is not. That destruction that I talked about to y'all in Deuteronomy, it's near. Go ahead. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. So we were told to flee into the mountains. What mountains is next to Israel? Egypt, Africa. Go down into Egypt. Because we are already in a part of Africa. Because Israel is a part of Africa. Right. But now they call it Middle East now. And it's no such thing as the Middle East. <laughs> so now we told to flee into the mountains. Which is right there in Egypt. Go that way. Which if you take that route and just keep going, you end up on the west coast. Go ahead. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let the ones that are out there, don't, hey, if you in Egypt, if you in Jerusalem, leave. Go ahead. And let not them that are in the countries enter their entry. And those of you that are not in Jerusalem, do not come back here. Don't come back. They're going to kill you. Go ahead. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written, May be fulfilled. Because what was written before, all these curses shall be brought up on you and overtake you. That's what we read in Deuteronomy 28 on how we know who we are. So Christ is saying when this happens, that's when that's going to start. When they surround and take Jerusalem, that's when Deuteronomy 28, y'all going into slavery on slave ships, is all going to begin. And that's exactly what happened. That's what Christ said. That's why everything I said that was written, it must begin. Now it's going to happen. Go ahead. But woe unto them that are with child. Destruction. The word woe means destruction. To them that are having babies, like our mothers that are pregnant. How are you going to run away if you're pregnant? You can't. He said destruction to you. You're going to be put to death. Go ahead. And to them that, are, that give suck. In those they got the little babies that's breastfeeding because you got to run with your child. He said woe to you if it happens during that time in your life because you ain't going to be able to go nowhere. Go ahead. For there shall be great distress in the land uh -huh. and wrath upon this people. It's going to be wrath because y'all keep sinning. Go ahead. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. They're going to slaughter us. Go ahead. And shall be led away captive into all nations. That's why you can find our people all over the whole earth. Slave ships didn't just come to America. They went everywhere. We were captive in all nations. Christ said it. Go ahead. And Jerusalem and our land shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. Those are your real Gentiles, the ones that's there now. Right. Jerusalem will be trodden down by the real Gentiles. Right. Meaning they live there, not you. Someone else lives there. Go ahead. Until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Because there's going to come an end to that, which we are living in now. That's why right now Israel is at war now. All these lands are fighting our war. They fighting the war to free us with bombs. God is getting them ready to bomb each other and then we go home. But the only ones that's gonna make it is those that keep the commandments. So we just read how they got into our land and took over. That's in the Bible. And Christ said it. No, 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 I'm, just, I'm, I'm saying it for the ones that's listening because I get excited about reading that my time in slavery is close to an end. Right. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Watch this. I get excited about it because I'm, hey, look, I hate being in slavery. I hate getting up going to work. I would love to get up 
and put everybody else to work because that's heaven in the Bible. Not right. we're going to be floating. No, we will rule over the other nations. Go ahead. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The God of who? Of Israel. See, the other nations ain't got God. Right. The only one that wrote that the one that, that this Bible was written to was us. And God said, blessed be the God of Israel. That's right. Go ahead. For he has visited and redeemed his people. He visited and redeemed his people. That's possessive. Meaning he got a set of people that is his, right, right. which is the Israelites. Go ahead. And hath raised up in horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Because Christ was raised up for us, not for everybody. Christ only died for me and your sins, not every race. Right. No one teaches this in church, and we're just reading it out of the Bible. <laughs> Read it again. And hath raised up in horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. So he raised up a horn of salvation for us. We're the only ones that get salvation, no right. one else. Go ahead. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Because all the prophets before this time said the same thing. It was always prophesied that Christ was coming to die for us. Always, all the way in Genesis. Go ahead. Which have been since the world began. Because it was always prophesied to happen. Go ahead. That we, that we, the Israelites, should be saved from our enemies. Wait, wait. How is everybody get saved from their enemies if everybody gets saved? That would mean there's no enemies. That would mean that scripture is false. Right. So God said the Israelites will be saved from their enemies. That's right. Who did he call our enemies? Hold that Deuteronomy 28, 68 again. Let's see who he was sold to. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So we were sold in slavery, not just in America. All of these are different slave spots. Go ahead. With ships. With ships. Go ahead. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. And there uh -huh. ye shall be sold unto your enemy. No, we were sold to our friends. Your enemy. That's in the Bible. We have enemies. We're not going back to Israel. We are going back to Israel. No, no, no. That is until Christ comes. Meaning we, that's why I said no man shall do it. Because Christ is coming back as a God. Right. He's not coming back regular. Right. He's coming back as a God. That's why it never happened. Now let's go back again to Luke. Now we know who the enemies are. The ones that sold us on slave ship. Beat our backs right here in Charleston. All the same thing they did to us in Ethiopia. Same right. thing they did to us in China. Same right. thing they did to us in South America. Here we go. Luke chapter 1 verse 71. That we should be saved from our enemies. And from the hand of all that hate us. Everybody that hates us. God said he don't see us. There you go. You said it, Ms. Foster. Everybody hates us. So God right. is going to save us from everybody. Right. Now right. you understand. Look, and now you know that it's talking to you because it said, Israel, this is going to be for you. Now you know when you read it, that's why you smile and that's why you're happy about it. Because now, look, because now you're like, yo, it's talking about me. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is 